Hey everyone, it's Mo Jax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today reviewing the Newmark Lightwave speakers. They are speakers with lights in them. The clue is in the name. Now, before we get to that, I want to ask you guys and girls who watch the channel a question. We've had a few people recently requesting that we do reviews of studio monitors and PA speakers, that kind of thing. Now, I've always kind of inherently shied away from doing that because I feel like in a situation as we do, where it's just video reviews, there's no written review, for real sort of hardcore detail about frequency response and that kind of stuff. It's kind of hard to get across the qualities of a studio monitor just in a video form, you know? So all I can really do is show you the product and talk about how it sounded a bit. I can't demonstrate it to you. It's not like a, a mixer or a turntable or a controller where I can show you the various functions and how well they work because it's a speaker, you know? We can't really do much with that. So. If you want to see that, by all means, we will get a proper testing rig set up here at the DJ City UK Lab. We'll have a specific audio space where we review speakers and studio monitors and that kind of stuff, and we'll do it right. But only if you guys want to see it. So please let us know down in the comments below whether you want to see studio monitors, speakers, PA stuff reviewed here on Tips and Tricks, because if you do, we'll do it. It's your channel. We're you know, sharing the stuff that you want to see. So let us know in the comments, please. So let's get onto these new Mark Lightwave speakers then. These are definitely, let's be clear, they're not studio monitors. These are small PA speakers. So you've got the vinyl covering, you've got the hard plastic corners on there, you've got handles on there to carry them around, and they are pretty easy to carry as well. Um, they're not too heavy, and because of the kind of slim proportions of them, you can easily, one person can carry one, even a pair of these, quite happily, without any problems. So they're very portable, which is good to see. Um, you've got um, 100 watts or 200 watt peak amp in there, and you've got three six and a half inch woofers, plus a horn tweeter. Again, that points you towards, these are a PA speaker, they're not a delicate studio monitor. These are something you can really rock a party with. It wouldn't be a big party, you know? You've got 100 watts RMS, 200 watts peak, so we're not talking about a massive room with these. Um, the base is all right, but it's not huge. You would want a subwoofer added on as well if you really want a lot of bass. I mean, really, a pair of these and a sub, you've got a pretty nice little small event system, you know, for a small room, that kind of thing. It's gonna do the job quite nicely. Um, and they're great for, you know, mixing at home, in your basement, in your little bedroom studio, whatever. Plenty of volume for that. You could use them as DJ monitors as well, quite happily too. Um, yeah, volume wise, they are pretty good sounding right up until the kind of top level of what you're putting out. Once you get to about 100 dB, they get a little bit screechy. But up until then, they're, they're a nice sort of clean sound. Again, not a studio monitor sound. They haven't quite got the wideness of the frequency response that the studio monitor will have, but it's good enough for a, a small party. And that's where really I tested these. I took them to two house parties in fairly small rooms, and there's plenty of volume there. There was a few times I thought maybe I would like a sub attached as well, but definitely they did the job for a small party. You've got lots of connections on the back. You've got XLR balanced inputs, plus a link output as well, so you can chain them together or chain them as part of a bigger PA system, which might be a quite nice way to use them. Uh, you've also got a line level input on RCA phono connectors and a 3.5 mil jack. So that basically gives you two input channels. One, the XLR will do mic or line, and then you've got your line level number two as well. So pretty flexible from that point of view. You can mix both of those at the same time. So you could have a microphone for like small presentations and that kind of stuff. Definitely gonna work well alongside a line level input going in. Yeah, nice and flexible. Um, we get to the lighting then itself, and that is pretty cool. Um, it has various different modes. So we start with, you've got the mood mode, You've then got the meter mode, which is really sweet, actually. If you're doing a mix with them, it looks really good with them pumping up and down with the volume. You've got mix, which goes through all the different colors. You've got pulse as well, which just pulses the color, again, with the music. And you've got party mode as well, where it goes through at various different speeds, depending on how you set the control on the back there. You've got a brightness control as well, so you can turn them right down or right up. Now, in terms of brightness, these are not like projection lights, you know, these aren't effects lights that are gonna put out um, any kind of patterns or anything like that. They do add an ambience to the room. It's not the brightest thing in the world. They are LED lights, you know, um, but they do, if, yeah, in your bedroom studio or whatever, they'll get a great little ambience in terms of the lighting going on in the room. Really nice from that point of view. Don't expect them to fill the whole room with color though, because they're just not that 
powerful. You know, ultimately, if you want proper lighting, you need to invest in proper lighting. But these look great as part of a PA system. They look fantastic and they do add, as I say, that little bit of extra ambience to the room. And again, at a small house party, they might be all you need. So who should buy the Lightwave speakers? Well, there's definitely a big market for this kind of small, compact PA speaker that isn't going to shake the floor, but isn't going to get noise complaints. You know, ideal for kind of office parties, kids parties, small rooms where you're doing, you know, little house parties and that kind of stuff. These will definitely last you from that point of view in a way that a set of studio monitors never will. You know, the amount of times I've seen people blow their studio monitors by trying to use them for house parties, bad idea, don't do it. This, these are much better. You're talking about $500 for a pair. Uh, which is not bad value considering you get that lighting in there as well, a bit of ambient lighting for the room. It's a great little addition for not much more than you pay for this kind of speaker anyway. So yeah, from that point of view, lovely. The question is, if you are a DJ mixing at home, should this be your only set of speakers? If that's all you've got, 500 bucks for your first proper set of speakers, I'm thinking probably not. I think probably a set of studio monitors will serve you better in an all round kind of way. Studio monitors will sound much flatter, much more neutral. They won't sound as fun as the Lightwave speakers, but really if you're doing edits, you're doing you know post-production on your mixtapes and that kind of stuff, you need a transparent, really kind of boring sounding speaker because that's what you know we need to get our sound correct. These would be great as a second set of speakers in your den, in your basement, that kind of thing. So you can set them up next to your decks and really jam out with them. If you've got the budget for that, then great. And these will serve you very well. But I think if you've just got that you know, budget and the space for one set of speakers, I'm always going to lean towards studio monitors first. This is the second set I would say to add on to there. Thank you very much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for our future tips, tricks and product reviews. I'll see you soon.